Bordeaux, France is synonymous with amazing wine. But that's far from the only incredible aspect of this vibrant city. It has impressive architecture, loads of history, delectable food, and so much more. In this video, we're taking a look at the best things to do there, from seeing the sights to learning about its history to, yes, drinking wine. So join us as Vucation presents Best Things to Do in Bordeaux, France. Port Cailao. If you've seen a photograph of Bordeaux, chances are it either depicted a gorgeous vineyard or the amazing Port Cailao. It was historically the main entrance to the city, and it still stands today, looking almost exactly the same as it did in 1494. As such, it's become one of the most Instagram-worthy spots in the city, if not the country. The gate was originally erected to honor the victory of King Charles VIII at Fornovo, Italy. There's a statue of Charles along the outside of the gate. There's also statues of the Archbishop of Bordeaux, as well as St. John. But what's also great is it's not simply a photo-worthy spot. Once you go inside the gate, there's a museum where you can spend some time learning about how it was constructed, as well as the history of the many Renaissance and medieval buildings that line the town. So for any architecture fans out there, you'll immediately fall in love with the city from your first steps in. Place de Quincon You might think that once you've seen a few city squares, you've seen them all. This is definitely not true when it comes to Place de Quincon. This is because it's the largest city square in France. It comes in at a huge 31 acres, so it's not some quaint little square. It's a massive area where they hold festivals, concerts, and more. There's also a bi-yearly flea market that spans the entire square, and is quite something to see if you happen to be in Bordeaux as it's happening. Place de Quincon was originally mapped out in 1820 after replacing a castle that was there. And while it's a festive and joyous place now, it was certainly not that when it was conceived. It was a military defensive spot, though probably not the kind you're thinking of. It wasn't to protect the city from attack from the outside. Rather, it was where the town nobles tried to ensure there was no rebellious types causing trouble in town. So their guns weren't so much pointed out towards potential enemies, but towards the city center. But nowadays, you don't need to worry about being mistaken for a rebel and accidentally shot because it's turned into a lovely area full of shops, restaurants, and more. It's also a hub for transport in the city. If you're in the square, be sure to check out the Girondin Monument, which consists of a fountain with bronze statues of soldiers and horses. Before we tell you more about the best things to do in Bordeaux, be sure to give this video a like and subscribe to Vucation if you haven't already. Bike it up around Bordeaux. Some cities are too big or tough to navigate on bike, but for any city where it makes sense, we highly recommend taking a bike tour. It's a perfect way to see a new city and take in its sights and vibe. You move around quicker than speeding by in car or in public transport, but you can cover far more ground than just walking. And fortunately, Bordeaux is a city ideally set up for a bike tour. As a matter of fact, they've actually been ranked as the fourth best city to bike in the world, boasting 200 kilometers of bike paths paved around the city. We recommend Bordeaux Highlights Bike Tour, which will take you to a plethora of Bordeaux's best and most gorgeous sites. You'll see some of old Bordeaux, like the Grosse Cloche, the Bordeaux Tribunal, and one of the oldest belfries in the country. You'll also see the picturesque view from the Place de la Bourse. It's a fantastic way to spend an afternoon seeing the city, and you'll burn off some calories and feel good about eating even more rich French food. The tour is 29 euros a person and lasts around three hours. Ice Carting Here's an activity you probably never thought you'd do in Bordeaux, let alone anywhere. It's called ice carting, and as you might expect, it's like being in go-karts, but on ice. From September to May, the Patinoir Merideck ice rink converts into an ice carting racetrack every Wednesday night. Usually the rink is a normal one for public skating, and it also serves as home ice for the local hockey team, the Bordeaux Boxers. But not Wednesday nights. You and your travel companions will strap into your trusty ice cart and race around the track, trying not to make too many Mario Kart references along the way. The carts have studded tires to give you traction as you zip around the ice. The races are seven minutes at a time, giving you a chance to get your bearings a little and then start zipping around the course. You'll need to book your ice cart ride at least 24 hours in advance, and it'll set you back about 17 euros per person. Tour a whiskey distillery. We told you there was more to Bordeaux than just wine, didn't we? And that includes the city's one whiskey distillery. Moon Harbor is the first distillery to ever produce whiskey strictly from Bordeaux. They age their spirit in giant barrels that sit inside a U-boat bunker from World War II. Of course, since it was a bunker, it was extremely fortified with walls of concrete 30 feet thick. 
but they've since cut out a doorway in the bunker so you can walk right in and check out the aging barrels. It's a pretty cool sight even if you're not a whiskey enthusiast. And of course, if you do like whiskey, it's a true delight. After you tour the distillery itself and the bunker slash barrel room, you get to do a tasting of their delicious whiskey. They also produce gin if that's more your taste. It's a good idea to book tours in advance because it's a popular destination. For 10 euros, you get to tour and taste for an hour. The world's largest reflecting pool. The Mira de O was opened in 2006 in Bordeaux as a public art installation and was actually inspired by a time that St. Mark's Square in Venice was flooded. It sits now as the largest reflecting pool in the world. It's across from the Place de la Bourse, which is yet another famous spot in the city and once featured a statue of Napoleon. The pool isn't merely a site where you can take a photo and move on. It's an active swimming spot, and locals and tourists alike often opt to jump in to cool off on hotter days. It's quite the romantic setting as well, and you'll see scores of loving couples enjoying the site. It's especially loved by children who can be seen splashing around it quite often. The water actually goes through a program sequence every 16 minutes. It goes from fog for 3 minutes, to a mirrored pool for 3 minutes, to a regular pool for 10 minutes. This unique aspect helped make it a UNESCO World Heritage Site. And of course, it's also what makes it so potentially crowded. So you might want to come early in the day if you want to avoid crowds. Visit Chateau Le Carme Hopriant. While Bordeaux is certainly known for its wine, most of the vineyards are a little removed from the city itself. But fortunately, there is one place you can visit that's only a 30-minute tram ride from the center of the city. The Chateau Le Carme Hopriant opened in 1855 and is a great place to visit both for its stunning views and impressive wine tasting. The architecture of the chateau is wonderful and it also features a lovely garden where you can sip some excellent wines. And of course, you can buy some bottles to bring back into town with you to enjoy over the course of the rest of your visit. Now it's time to hear from you. Did we miss any of your favorite things to do in Bordeaux? Let us know in the comments section below. And before you go, make sure you give this video a like and subscribe to Vucation if you haven't already. Click the bell icon to stay updated on all our latest content.